Seniors at seven Brownsville ISD high schools are getting ready for graduation and so is law enforcement. They want to make sure the events are as safe as possible. Tomorrow is actually the first of those seven back to back graduations and all of them are going to be at Sam Stadium. That's where we find our Stephanie Rosales. Stephanie, one major change is where families will enter the stadium. Can you show off that new entrance? This is the new entrance to Sam's Memorial Stadium just off of West Elizabeth Street. Off to my right, we're going to go ahead and see the visitor site. And moving on over to my left side, we're going to go ahead and see the home site. This is the first time this entrance will be used since it's been upgraded. Brownsville ISD will also be the first time out here patrolling and using this area. And for the past several months, they've been preparing for these back to back graduations to make sure everyone who's attending here safe. It still hasn't dawned on me that I'm going to graduate and move on to a higher, higher level, higher experience. Pablo Alvarez is just days away from graduation. The Hannah High School senior will soon be moving away from home to attend college at Stephen F. Austin and join their music program. I think I'm leaning more towards music education. So like conducting choirs or conducting a, an orchestra. His mother, Rebecca, supporting her son along the way. His high school journey, like so many graduates this year, started in 2020 at the start of the pandemic. We're very fortunate that he did because unfortunately some kids did it, you know, for one reason or another, they just didn't get to finish. But he, along with his uh, classmates, did, and we're just so very proud of them. A total of 2,904 students will be graduating this year from one of the seven BISD high schools. It's more, more family members coming in and that usually adds to the, both sides of the, of the venue. BISD Police Chief Oscar Garcia says they're expecting up to 6,000 people to attend a single graduation. Starting Thursday, there will be seven graduations at Sam's Memorial Stadium. The back-to-back -back events are keeping the police department busy. Chief Garcia says their biggest challenge will be traffic. We're going to be looking at very carefully and assigning additional personnel to assist and mitigate the traffic flow, the crowd that's coming in, and, and also when we do the, the, the screening, the security screening. Something families need to keep in mind is that Sam's Memorial Stadium just had a makeover. Their new primary entrance is now off West Elizabeth Street. Right by the new entrance is a new parking lot big enough for 240 vehicles. The second stadium entrance off East Jefferson will have 212 parking spots. Brownsville ISD police will be working with local, state and federal partners to make sure they keep everyone as safe as possible. Safety is number one. You know, we, everybody wants to feel safe. Everybody wants to have a good time. I've been waiting to graduate for a very long time. And yeah, yeah, it's very, it's, it's, it's going to be a very happy experience. A reminder that backpacks, purses, and bags bigger than a small clutch bag will not be allowed. This is an example of what you can bring in. A clear tote bag or a clear storage bag will also be allowed. Live in Brownsville, Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News, at 6.